Hi. Thank you for having me on The Conspiracy Show. Um, yes, I have many names. And um, the Tinfall Hat Lady, I thought, was a great name to describe what was going to be talked about in the show. And then, of course, the character needed a proper name. And uh, my nickname that my husband given has given me uh, has been Hillary Use a Schnarkelfarken for a very long time and I thought that was great for her and the cat really thought that was great for her so um, that's what we used. And um, my real human name is Beata Van Berkham which is completely unreasonable and odd and literally just a fluke of nature um, because the, did you know that the name Beata in Spanish means white witch? or pious or devout woman. Uh, it all depends on your POV. So there you go. Uh, well, currently I am deployed to this space-time reality to help the residents to expand their consciousness and to increase all humans' ability to solve problems and to remember or understand that humans are bundles of immense creative energy, divine energy, and that uh, we can take action to make change any time we want. And that action is life, and inaction is death. So that's something I always think about. It keeps me motivated. I really feel that humans are so put down nowadays that they need a cheerleader. And Tinfoil Hat Lady, Hillary Schnorkel Farkin, she is a cheerleader for the human race. And she does really odd cheers. Um, I think one of her favorites is, uh, humans, humans, I'm your fan. If you can't do it, no one can. Yay, humans, don't get chipped. Something like that, I think it goes like. And you know, she is here to make all humans laugh because people really need to laugh till they cry and take action. Like I said, um, postcards from the other side of the apocalypse is a cute little uh, animation set in the future. I did the voice of the bionic girl. I helped in casting and some script development. My friend Tim Tyler, who was the cameraman on the subversive lecture of Tinfoil Hat Lady, got me involved in that. Um, but no, I didn't have any creative control on that at all. Because if I did, I probably would not have drawn her bamboozle as so large. However, um, I hear large is more popular. And with the return of the goddess and all that feminine energy coming back, I figure whatever, what the heck, who am I to complain, right? <laughs> Oh, 9-11, 9-11, yes, 9-11. I'm sorry, but the inherent laws of nature and physics are very credible. And the buildings turning to dust and falling at free fall speed with no resistance just proves that the story that we were offered was false. And the fact that anything, and I do mean anything, people, was able to hit the Pentagon Come on now. It's a lie. So I encourage you to use your Google and uh, Google up Project Northwoods. You can do it. We can't do it all for you people. Use Google. Oh, yes. Reptilians. Um, well, not only do our ancient myths and creation stories always... Um, have the archetype of the serpent, the snake, the reptilian. Uh, but I think that the idea of a species that pokes us with a stick, if you will, to um, then um, create the fear vibration, which they then consume or eat, might explain a few things around here. Um, things like why we are kept in such a limited fear-based frequency range because to me, we're kept in a mental, emotional, spiritual boundary. And it's set up and guarded by schools and churches and governments and perpetuated by the mass media. And then, of course, perpetuated again socially by us, by ourselves, by our culture. So we can change this. We are in control. And I often imagine that we are all in a very large cage um, 
but it is a cage that locks from the inside. And it seems like every time somebody figures out that it locks from the inside and that they yell out, uh, hey everybody, this cage locks from the inside. We can all get out right now. Um, what the rest of us then do is jump on that one and beat them to a pulp. And uh, we never do go over and check out the locking mechanism. It's kind of sad. And I feel the whole concept of war is alien to humans. I agree with President Ronald Reagan in his speech in September 87 to the UN where he said that war and the threat of war is alien to humans. And so maybe there is an ounce of literal truth in that statement. So I guess if war is non-Earth-based, a non-Earth-based concept, then it's an extraterrestrial concept. And um, exposure to this extraterrestrial concept of war for humans is really traumatic. So it keeps us in a collective state of uh, trauma. And once people are in this state, it's very easy to implant thoughts or ideas. And this is uh, the science of trauma-based mind control. For example, why uh, on the morning of 9-11, when we had all seen the impossible happen as the towers fell at free fall speed, turning into dust, um, later the in the day when Building 7 fell, we all were so in shock and awe that we went, oh, well, another building fell down. Oh, well, you know, what's, what's the world coming to? Um, I don't know. Nowadays, we're taught not only to fear the germs in our toilet bowl, but we're also taught to fear a faceless terrorist enemy. So um, the next thing is going to be the alien enemy. So look out for Project Green Star. Why we need weapons in space. <laughs> if the aliens want to take us out, we'd be gone. So don't believe in an alien threat, okay? <laughs> the aliens are among us, the threatening ones. Well, the tinfoil hat, yeah, um, well, Hillary Use, she loves her tinfoil hat because it protects her. It protects her against self-doubt and self-deprecation and self-sabotage. And it reminds her to always use her best manners and to always use her own thoughts and her own intuition, which is very important. And it reminds her not to bolt in fear with the rest of the mainstream sheep when something happens and to always self-reference, self-referencing. It's very important for her. And, uh, you know, she always tries her best to make the masses laugh because God knows people need a good laugh, eh? Well, I hope God knows that. Because it's true. Because there is a crazy train running amok out here and people are just hanging on by a thread. And, um... I think it's a very strong thread, though, so I do have hope. And uh, that's why I created uh, Hillary Use Schnorkel Farkin. For your own hope and your own enjoyment and education and entertainment. Well, thank you very much for having me on the show. And uh, stay subversive. Keep thinking. And remember, Tinfoil Hat Lady loves you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.